Hey guys, I am showing you all the notes and documents in Outlast. These are the collectibles in the game. The documents are blue folders with the word confidential on it. And the first one's going to be before you get out of the car, your character will automatically grab it. The second type of collectible are notes. Notes are recorded using your camcorder, so there's nothing you're physically are picking up. And the first one's going to be right after you get out of the car, and they're going to go through this gate. And the game is going to prompt you to hit R1 to take out your camcorder. And when you do, you'll record your first note. Note, uh, you can see the flashing camcorder icon in the bottom right, and you'll hear your character scribbling on the notepad. That's how you know that you've collected the note. A little further in, as soon as you get in the building, you're going to squeeze through this first thing here, the filing cabinet and the bookcase. And in the first room on the left, there's no collectible, but there is a battery. So if you want to pick that up, you can. But if you go to the second room on the left after making that squeeze there, it's in this room, A214 is the room number. Open that door and you'll see the document right there on the desk. Now, if you want to read the uh, notes and documents, uh, I do display them all, but I don't give you enough time to read. So hit the pause button if you do want to read them. So moving on, the next note is going to be in the library. And uh, I'm going to get scared there probably. I know I did. But uh, you're going to make your way to the back corner, and you need to film this guy. There's going to be a guy impaled. And you just need to have your camcorder out and record his little speech. So just keep your camera on him. When you don't have the uh, night vision on, the battery won't drain. If you do have the night vision on, uh, the battery will drain. But just continue filming this guy, and then you're going to hear yourself taking the note, and you see the camcorder icon flashing. That's how you know you've got it. So moving on, this is after you go fall through the, the glass window, get pushed through it rather, quite violently I might add. And uh, you're going to be in the reception area here in the administration block. You have this nice tasty meal down there. But if you go behind the uh, desk here in front of this slumped over guard, right on the desk is your document. And then we're going to take it actually from this location. I'm not going to cut because the next one is going to be in the room on your way to get the key. You're going to go through this room and then there's going to be a filing room. And uh, just continue here through this door and in the back right corner will be your next document. And again, I'm going to take it uh, from this location as well. And we're going to go to our next note. So leave this, uh, leave this room. And uh, actually, we're going to go over here and see if there's a battery. I don't think there is. But we're going to go out in this hallway, turn left. And then we're going to enter a room uh, with a TV and three guys watching the TV. Now, there's nothing on the TV. I'm not sure what they're watching, but uh, just take out your camera and record this to take the note. So after you've gotten the, uh, the key, you're going to return back to the reception area. And then uh, we're going to, let's go ahead and hit this elevator button just because I like doing it. Ah. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. Or creeps the hell out of me. I'm not sure which. But uh, go down this hallway. First door on the left is a bathroom. And we're going to go into the bathroom. Open the middle stall. Make sure you have your camcorder out. And record the witness. So we're going to leave the bathroom and we're going to continue down the hallway. And on the left you see the security room. That's where we ultimately need to go. But we're going to pass it and go in the room in the back left here. And in the corner you're going to see on the desk yet another document for you to take. Now we're going to, after we read this note here, we're going to go back to that security room we passed. And uh, after a brief little cutscene there, you're going to have the uh, big fucking guy come in the room. So what you need to do is hide in the locker, 
and take out your camcorder and record him as he's walking in the room. This guy's name is Chris Walker, if you're paying attention to the uh, what's going on in here. So we're going to leave this room. I did a brief cut there and the, and the guy left. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the basement and we need to restore power. So just to the right of the elevator that I hit earlier, we're, there's a set of stairs that we're going to go down. And then we're going to go through this door here. And then there's going to be a little wall you can squeeze through that's on my right. We're going to squeeze through here and just to the right on the desk will be your next document. And uh, that's, uh, that's all the collectibles in the administration block. These are the notes and documents in the prison block. And you're going to start right off the bat here in this prison cell. And as soon as you wake up and get your bearings, grab your camcorder, uh, we're going to take our first note. Remember, notes must be captured on your camcorder. So just record the writing on the wall. Hit R1 at bring up your camcorder and that'll give you your first note in this chapter so after you get out of that prison cell on the first floor there's going to be a door here with a opening in the wall in the back so go through this opening and then you're going to go to the left and then you're going to climb up and uh, you're going to see something shocking so warning but uh, climb up here and there's going to be two guys, and the one in the back is doing an indecent act on a dead body. You just want to capture that on film for the necromatic note. So after that first section there, you're going to come to this uh, chamber, get out of that chamber there, and you're going to have to go up a couple flights of stairs. And what we're looking for is uh, someone writing on the wall. And it's not on this floor, so we're going to go up another flight of stairs here. Follow the red arrow. There you go. And you're going to see this guy. i tell you to go down the drain. And if you go to the left, down to the end of this hall, you're going to find the document hiding in the dark. So after reading that uh, document there, we're going to continue on and you're going to have to climb outside a window and strafe along the outside here and then you're going to climb back in and here's where you, you turn left there this is where you need to get the key card to open the door but go in that to the left there and go in this room pick up that document and then actually right near here you're going to climb out that window and then you're going to turn left down this hall now make sure you have your camera already out. So continue down here and then you're going to see some activity with Chris Walker on the uh, main floor there. So just capture that on film for the so total security note. And then we're going to go ahead and move a little further. This is after you've climbed back out another window, strafed along the outside of the building in the rain. And you're going to climb back in and you're going to come to this hallway here. And if you go to the right after going through that door, there's a jail cell door there. Turn left, and you're going to find this torture room. And to the right, it's on that table there is your document. Then the uh, you have another document here. This is in the three-tiered, uh, three-story uh, jail block. And on the second story, you're going to have to make this jump over here. And then you're going to have to go up the flight of the stairs to the right. But before doing that, enter this jail cell here. And there's a guy cowering underneath the bed. But on this little nightstand there, pick up that document. And then we're going to have just one more left in this sewer, uh, or in this prison block chapter, rather. And this is on the top floor. And once you get to the third floor there, you're going to drop down this hole. And if you turn left, like I just did, you're going the wrong way. So once I realize that, we're going to go back up and then we're going to go the other way. And down this hall is a room with the word wall writer written all over the place. And you just want to capture that on your camera. 
And that's it for the prison block, guys. Please join me in the next chapter, The Sewers. This is after you crawl through your first little tunnel, and there's a brief loading sequence. And then to the right here, you're supposed to squeeze through that gap, and you'll meet Walker over there. But instead, continue around to the back here. This just loops around in a circle. Next to that ladder, you'll see a document lying on the ground. Uh, that's the first of only four collectibles in this chapter. There's very few collectibles here. Number two is going to be after you've gone through the lower sewers and you climb up that ladder back up and uh, you're going to eventually come to a door on the left that you need to enter and that'll progress the story I kind of do a little exploring past the door so I'm just gonna kind of cut that out there but yeah go through this door and you're gonna see a guy sitting over here talking with your camcorder out record his entire speech he's just gonna kind of ramble on like a Led Zeppelin song you're going to kind of wish this was a first-person shooter. You can just take a shotgun and blow his head off, but it's not that kind of game. So just listen to him, finish the speech, wait for the camcorder icon blinking on the bottom right, and then you'll hear the, the note taken on the pad. So that's it. That's the note. And then we're going to move on to the uh, into the sewers here. This is the flooded area. And you're going to climb up this ladder, and you're going to circle around the catwalk to the right. And then you're going to drop back down into the water. Now your exit is going to be straight ahead of you. It's head straight ahead of you. There you go. And you're going to see a thing drop into the water here. Right there. That's how you know you're in the right place. And you need to go down that tunnel. But instead, you can jump up and take this catwalk here to a secret door. Kind of nice little hidden collectible here for you. Go in this door and there's going to be a blinking document got to love blinking collectibles. So pick that up. And that's the still bleeding document. And then we're going to move to our last um, note here. And this is in the very end. After you squeeze through this gap, you're going to merge right by the entrance to the male ward. You're supposed to go up those stairs to the right. However, instead of doing that, if you go straight back and just peek into this door with your camcorder, you will get your final note here. So we're doing all of the notes and documents in the mail ward chapter. The first one's going to be right after you move this case full of propane tanks. And then you're going to crawl underneath here to another room where you're just going to see a dude chilling. Pay him no business. He actually doesn't do anything. So we're going to go out this door. And instead of turning right to continue the story path, we're going to turn left. And in the darkness, there will be a door. If you enter the door... There's going to be some writing on the wall on the left for the first note. It says fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Yummy. Sounds like a recipe. I hope it's not. But, uh, all right, so we're going to continue forward here, go after our first document, and crawl through this little hole here, and you're going to enter the medical bay. Now, in the back right corner is going to be a document. Before you climb up in there, go back here, and just sit in there is going to be the document. So moving forward here, this is going to be a little ways further. Uh, this is after the long cutscene with the doctor, after you lose your fingers. Go out the door, and you're going to enter this large room. Now the doctor himself is going to come busting through those doors on the left. And on the other side of the room is going to be one of the doctor's patients. Now he's going to go and ramble on for a good minute or two. But what you need to do is you need to film the doctor killing the patient. And after the doctor comes in, he's going to come and stick his large scissors through the patient. So just hide underneath here. I'm going to kind of cut it here, cut a little short. So with your camera, make sure you've got this thing on record. And eventually uh, Dr. Tra uh, Traeger will kill him and you will get your note. I'll give you very And there you go. Probably put that guy out of his misery. Did him a favor. 
So the next document is going to be after you escape the doctor for I believe the second time and you're going to go in through your second ceiling duct. So climb up there quick. The doctor's probably chasing you. And we're going to just take this all the way around. There's going to be two, uh, two bends here. And then we're eventually going to drop down. And you're going to see a bathroom right in front of you. And if you look in the right stall, there's going to be a little cart with the document sitting on top of it. Pick that up, and there you go. Now, the death of Traeger uh, note is going to be after his demise here in the elevator. You're going to climb up through the, uh, the ceiling of the elevator. And then when you come out the other side... Make sure you got your camcorder out and just film the doctors just sitting on the, uh, the other half of him, rather, just kind of sitting there. Now, for some reason, this just didn't trigger right away, so keep an eye out for the, uh, the camcorder icon. And I spent a good uh, 30 seconds here trying to get this thing to trigger, zooming in, zooming out, turning the night vision on and off. So make sure you don't leave this area until you get this note. And there we go. Now the next document is going to be a little further on after you meet Dr. or not Dr. but Father Martin rather. And he's going to tell you to meet him outside. And uh, to do that you're going to go to, uh, through a locker room. So taking this dark passage here and take the right hallway here and there's going to be a door that you have to enter it's part of the story path and this will take you into a locker room and in the locker room you're going to see a body laying there and if you keep going back behind this bench is going to be a pretty well hidden document but thankfully they flash so they're easy to see. Now, the, the next note is going to be in the cafeteria area here. You can't miss it, obviously. And uh, you're going to come across a guy who's going to tell you he set this place on fire and why he did it. He's just going to keep rambling on for a minute. And you got to make sure you got your camcorder out and you're recording this. Now, at the end of this, not only are you going to get a note, but you're also going to get a trophy for collecting 15 notes and 15 documents. So that would be 30. There's 62 total in the game, so we're about halfway. There's the trophy, and there's our note as well. Now the next one is going to be as you're leaving this area, you're going to be tasked with uh, turning on the sprinklers to uh, put out the fire. So we're going to go out this door here, and you're supposed to squeeze through in front of you that gap. Instead, there's a hallway here, a very dark hallway, and take this all the way to the back. There's a little office here and then there's another office here behind it. And in the left corner is going to be the document on the desk. And then the final uh, note in this chapter is going to be after you've turned on the sprinklers and you're going to go into the kitchen. You're going to be greeted with a nice little surprise. Right there. I could have warned you. I'm kind of a dick for not doing that. But after that sequence, uh, circle back around to the left here, and there's going to be a door into another room. And on the table is going to be some delicious fingers. So it very well could have been a recipe that was on the wall. We are doing the notes and documents in the chapter called The Courtyard. And before you go outside to that actual courtyard, you're going to have this office here to the right. I'll travel in here, and you will find only your first of four collectibles in this chapter. So there's only four, thank God, because it's really hard to navigate in the dark. But after you get that, we're going to get our second document by going outside. And in front of you, you can see, or not, there you go, with the lightning you can see it. You can also use your night vision on your camcorder, a fountain. And past that fountain, if you continue heading back and a little bit to the left, you're going to see a light. 
and underneath that light is a set of stairs going up. At the top of the landing here, right in the center, is going to be your second document. So all we have left are two notes in this chapter. And the first of those is going to be after you get the the key in the in the shed here, grab these batteries because you're going to need it in this dark chapter. So grab the key to the maintenance shed. Now you're going to head to that maintenance shed, and that is just straight across on the other side of the fountain here. And you can see the light coming out from the door. And once you get there, you're going to unlock the shed. Obviously, you're then going to go into that shed. And then at the end of this path here, you go through this next door. You're going to turn right. The left is a dead end, but turn right. And then there's going to be another door in front of you. Open that door, but make sure you have your camcorder equipped and it's recording. So there you go. You just film that little event and you'll get your first of the two notes in this chapter. The final note is going to be at the very end of the chapter. You're going to uh, meet uh, Walker out here. Actually, you meet him a couple times, but this is the last time. Go through this little hole. Hopefully you uh, avoided him. Now from here, you're going to come across a fountain with red blood in it. And uh, there's also the female ward entrance uh, just ahead as well, over off to the left. But go in this open gate, film this fountain, and that'll be the last collectible. We are doing the notes and documents in the female ward. Now this is right off the, from the beginning, and you're just gonna make your way to the laundry room. Now you're gonna see this little opening here, this little gap, and then you're gonna climb into the laundry room from this little window just ahead. So once you've climbed in, you're gonna hear a machine making a knocking noise right in front of you here. You film that, and that'll get you your first note in the chapter. Now the next one and the couple after that, I'm just going to do string together, I'm not going to do any cuts. So go exit out of the laundry room and turn right and take this all the way down to the end. And underneath and behind the stairs, you're going to find the first document in the level. And once we've gotten that, we're going to head back the other direction, the way we, uh, from which we just came and we're gonna head down the opposite path. Uh, we're gonna turn left out of the laundry room, or in this case, we're gonna go straight, but you would have turned left out of the laundry room. So take this to the very end, and then you're gonna turn left, and you're gonna enter a brightly lit room with the wheelchair in the center. The next note is in the elevator, stuck between the first floor and the basement. Kneel down here and just film inside of there, and it'll take maybe a second or two here to get the note to catch. Wait for that icon, there it is. And that is our second note. And we're gonna go directly from this location to the next. And from this room, there's a set of stairs that goes down to the basement, right here. So go ahead and just run down here. And this is gonna be in the back far corner. Now be careful, cause there's gonna be a guy creeping out in the corner in front of me there. If you get too close, he'll turn around and try to kill you. So avoid him, but don't avoid the documents. And uh, we're going to skip ahead a little bit from here. This is going to be uh, after you do the fuse thing and get the key to get up to the third floor. And you're going to shimmy across here. And you're going to jump across to this next room. Now in this room, uh, if you step on the floor in a certain spot, it will crumble and you'll fall down to the floor below. I do everything I can to try to avoid it because I know it's coming. It's right here, but yet somehow I still fall down. So to get back up, you're just going to climb the beds on the far side of the room. And once you've climbed up the beds, you can get back up to that third floor. So from here, now that we're back on track, I apologize for the sidetrack there, but we're gonna go through this door here and enter another room. Now, if you go to the back left corner, you will find another document on a bunk.
and it's kind of in your story path. It's possible to miss it, but you should see it. But we're going to go from this location to the very last document, uh, actually note in the level and the last collectible in this one. And that's going to be outside of this room. We don't want to go that way. We just came from there. So we're going to go out the doors. We're going to turn right. And then you're going to see a room here with a bunch of candles and the word lies written on the wall. So just film this with your camera and you have completed all the collectibles in the female ward. We are doing return to the administration block notes and documents. And this first one is after you see the walker there and you're going to have to climb up into this duct work to get away and then you're supposed to progress where you see that body blocking the path but to the right there's a nice little hidden shaft so just go down here and this is going to drop you into another office space so we're going to go drop down there and pick up the document on the desk and again you can see it blinking there I'm telling you, if a folder company can only somehow manufacture uh, blinking folders, they'd probably make a fortune. But uh, we're not looking for folders. We're looking for trophies. So we're almost there, guys. So after that, just go back up in here. You interact with this body. Push it out of the way. You're going to drop down, and you're supposed to go to the door there to your right. If you go to your left, you're going to see the entrance to the library. And you can go in the library, and it'll be in the back right corner. Now you're going to see it on the desk there next to that monitor, but if you want to be cool like me, just go right past it, kind of do a circle, kind of look like an idiot, swing back around and go pick up the document. We literally walked right past, so if you want to be cool like me, go ahead and do that, but that's optional. And then the next note is going to be a little further on and this is when you get into the theater area and when you're in here a uh, movie will start playing and then all you need to do is make sure you have your camcorder out and recording and then just record this entire show it takes about two minutes but uh, with power of video editing I'm gonna make it last only about 10 seconds here so make sure you watch that blinking camcorder icon that's no when you when you know you got it and then from here, I'm going to take you straight from this spot to the next uh, document. And that's going to be a turnaround. And you're going to head towards the exit to the theater. And But to, just to the left, you're going to see that door, the office here on your left. And on the other side of this office is another door that leads you to a really long hallway. Now halfway through this hallway, you're supposed to go up them some stairs. But we're going to continue to the back room. You can see it's well lit. And in the back corner in a box is going to be the document. Now from there, uh, we're going to skip a little forward here. And this is when you, once you get up to the third floor, you're going to go through the kitchen and get to this room with that creepy guy. And go through the door on the left, which is the only way you can go. And then you're going to go down the hallway on the left. And then a room to the right, right up here, the first one on the right, you're going to see a pool table. And in the front of the room is going to be a guy praying in front of a static TV. So go ahead with your camcorder, of course, make sure you record him. And that'll activate that note for you. The next document is going to be just a little further ahead during the next long hallway. And it's going to be in room B. 329 on the right side. Make sure you get this document before you go through the window in a room that's actually on the opposite side of the hallway. And then the last collectible is going to be in the church area. You just need to uh, film Dr. Uh, Father Martin and that's it. You just uh, make sure you have your camera out and you record the entire scripted event simple as that i'm going to cut it a little short because it runs long so i'm just going to edit it down but uh, that's it
All right, guys, it's the final chapter, Underground Lab, and we're looking for all the notes and documents, and the first note will be in this room. Just scan it with your camcorder as soon as you enter this first room. And the uh, first document will also be in this room behind that counter. So just swing around and grab that as well. And then I'm going to take you straight to the second and, uh, I'm sorry, the third and fourth collectible as well, straight from here. So we're almost close. We almost got that Pulitzer gold trophy. I can almost smell it now. I don't know if gold has a smell to it, but I sure smell it. So we're almost there. We're going to go through these doors at the end of this hall. And it'll be in the second room on the left from here. So not in that mess over there. It'll be in this messy room. Looks like an awful lot of blood. But who am I to judge? So there's the document. And uh, we're going to go again straight from this location to the next one. And this is another note. Again, you've got to record the notes with your camcorder. So again, hit R1 to equip the camcorder. And it'll be in the first uh, entrance to your right. Uh, to the left will be this outside looking thing with these military vehicles and on the other side behind you will be the uh, a formula on the board there now you got to make sure you go in here before you set the alarm off because this door will lock if you uh, set that alarm off first so make sure you go here before you go down to the end of the hall and once you've gone down to the end of the hall you're going to run back and you're going to meet your old friend again and all you need to do is just record the events that happen with your camcorder. And to be honest with you, I don't think you can miss this. I think this is automatic. So you're not going to miss this. And you're going to have a tragic end to one of our most hated enemies in this game. Spoilers. I know it's a little late for that. Speaking of spoilers, this whole chapter is spoilery. So, you know, proceed with caution. And that goes without saying with any, I guess, collectible guide. But that's the note here, Death of, of the Soldier. And uh, this is a, a little further on when you're being chased by Billy. And you're going to enter this decontamination chamber. And once the doors open up, you're able to proceed. Go right, not left. Go right. And before you go through the next set of doors, there's a guy behind the counter, and underneath his right hand is the document. And then we're going to go straight from this location. There's going to be a lot of them here all in a row. We're going to go through this door, and this is going to take us to the final area of the game. So proceed down here. When this door opens up, you're going to see the machine. Can't miss it. It's that big uh, sphere thing. And there's a note. Make sure, again, you're recording this with your camcorder. And then from here, the next two are right next to each other. So we're going to just exit this little room, the door on the right, head down the stairs, and then we're going to record Billy himself, who's right there in this little bubble thing. So that'll be that note. The next document will be just to our right. All we got to do is just turn to the right, move a few steps, and we'll, we'll be right there. And then the next one is going to be another note, and we're going to go straight from this location to the next area we're supposed to go into, and that'll be off to the right, the, the life support system. So go through this door, short little hallway. Make sure you equip the camcorder. And then as soon as you open these doors, you'll get your next note. And the uh, next uh, collectible is a document, and it's also going to be in this room. So I'm going to go ahead and just string that here. And this is going to be in the offices on the second floor on the opposite end. So just make your way back here. There's some stairs here on the left. And once you make your way all the way up, enter over here, and it'll be on the desktop. Now we're going to skip a little ahead. We're going to go back to the main area and then go up the stairs on the opposite side. You're going to get chased by Billy from this point all the way to here. 
And once you reach this decontamination chamber, you're going to go up these stairs. And this is in the area where you pull the electrical box. So just go up here. And the electrical box is to the right down that little catwalk. But just to the left here on this table is the document. And then we are on to our final note. Uh, this is going to be after you, you have a little struggle with something. And I'm trying not to give away too much here, but... You're going to get up, you're going to grab your camcorder, and then you're going to be given a, uh, the quest update is to get out. So your objective is to get out, but before you do, take out your camcorder and do that. And there's our trophy. I'm super excited. I hope you guys got your trophy as well. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I got more Outlast videos for you. So check my channel.